early literacy program that was designed to help educate parents on the importance of early literacy skills. The program is, is, is eight weeks long and each workshop is two hours and most of the trainings take place in community-based settings. That would include affordable apartment communities, um, family resource centers, elementary schools, or other nonprofit organizations that serve families and children. So each workshop st starts off by teaching an objective, and that objective could include anything from family storytelling to choosing age-appropriate books, brain development, and early developmental milestones. And then it transitions into um, a story is read, so the early literacy specialist models for the parents how to engage their children around books by talking about the pictures, how to hold a book, how to turn the pages. And then next they do a, they do singing and dancing in addition to um, an art activity. At the end of the workshop, the parents um, receive a bag, a bag of books that has five age appropriate books in it and they rotate those books each week. So by the time they've completed the eight week series, they will have been introduced to 40 different book titles. Raising a Reader is based off of a national model, but what we did is we adapted the national model's curriculum and changed it into the eight week two hour literacy trainings to where the parents and the children participate in the workshops. And so the, the whole purpose and the goal of the program is to teach the parents that they are their child's most valuable teacher, how to help them build their child's vocabulary in order to prepare them for kindergarten and set them up for success in life. An additional benefit that the families receive by participating in the workshop is each week we introduce a resource of the week. And that would include, um, for example, Birth to Five Helpline, Head Start, ESL classes, um, food banks, WIC locations, and the public library. One of the unique things about Raising a Reader is it's held on site, which eliminates the need um, for transportation which is often a barrier for some of the families that we service. So having it on site at affordable housing apartment communities or at family resource centers, as well as elementary schools or other nonprofit organizations, um, it also builds a sense of community as well as um, community cohesion amongst the families that participate. Parents have shown an increase in their confidence as far as engaging their children with books. Children are being asked to be read to more. Um, the number of books in the home has increased as well as the number of visits to the public library.